My name is Maria Pimentel Donovan, and I'm here to tell uh, my side of the story of why my family and I, we arrived in the United States. In 1957, uh, my dad in April died from an accident. I was sent to boarding school in um, that same year on September 23, a volcano erupted in my island. We were all night with 144 earthquakes waiting for the volcano to erupt. We were very scared. It was a tremendous amount of fear. However, on the next day it erupted on the edge of the island to which buried the village, but how lucky that no one died or got hurt. We were evacuated for two months at my school. And upon arrival back, we got to see firsthand the devastation that this happened. A lot of people lost their homes. Um, the whole village to this day is still buried. And on the site, uh, they actually built a museum that is not only functioning, but they are scientists. They are studying the temperature of the water and why these volcanoes are erupting. The reason that we came to America was Jack Kennedy had been elected in November and he heard about the tragedy in this tiny island and decided to open the immigration. It took about four years for my mom and us to uh, achieve that visa and to be able to come to America. It was very different back then. We did not have the beautiful jets and the airports that we now have. We had to travel in a boat to the bigger island where they were giving out these visas. It took over two months to um, get one. Once my mom and her four children received the visas, we traveled by boat to another island waiting for a plane to bring us to America. We had to stop in Montreal with us then change plane and arrived in Boston. Needless to say, the, our island went from 30,000 inhabitants to 15,000. That has not changed in over 61 years. Through a nine-year-old's eyes was extremely traumatic. So much so that when we evacuated to another island for two months, myself, and other children, the memory of it completely was erased that to this day I have no memory of being in that island for two months. I know we went to church every Sunday, we went to school. The nuns tried to make a life like we had in boarding school. We arrived back to my island, we saw the devastation. It took a while to get back into a routine. The way it affected me was that first losing a, a father, very young, my mom was 40, and then the excitement of going to a new place, however, not knowing the language, knowing very few people, not knowing the customs, um, it affected us in such a way that it changed our whole life, how we think, how we speak, how we live, um, but at the same time grateful to come to a country that um, took us in, embraced us, and helped us be the type of people that we are.